Well, you can add another honor to Rushi's Katie Borcher's resume. Last week, she won another Big Ten title, the Outdoor 800, and the now Ohio State graduate was named the Academic All-District First Team today, making her eligible for Academic All-American honors next month. Borchers owns or is a part of nine Buckeye records and is a four-time OSU Scholar Athlete, which is all more impressive than this week's Layfeld Welding Top 5 Plays of the Week, even though Austin Scott did come up with five fantastic plays. WBL softball action kicks things off for this week's top five. Defiance pitcher Brooklyn Miller strikes out the side in the second and third innings to help the Lady Bulldogs take the 8-2 win over Elida. Plenty of traction in this week's countdown, starting with the WBL meet in Defiance. Van Wert's 4 by 200 meter squad sets a new meet record with a time of 1 minute and 29.60 seconds to get the gold. Sarah Caney returns to the top five this week with another stellar performance. She sets the MAC meet record in the 800 meters with a time of 2 minutes and 14.28 seconds. The most spectacular track finish of the spring sports season takes the runner-up spot this week. That's Micah Grandstaff of Crestview in the lead of the 3200 at the NWC meet and far behind him is Bailey Toe from Lincoln View. Watch Toe track down Grandstaff and blow by him to pick up the win. Right at the end, he nudges him out there. It was certainly a really hard-fought race by both runners. The Coldwater Cavaliers captured the number one performance of last week in a road matchup with rival St. Henry. Mark Coons has the call. Scoring position. Fly ball to center field. Going back, going back, and clears the wall. Craig Shanehair with his fourth home run of the year, a three-run shot. Shanehair, fly ball to left, going that's back. Deep. And that's going to clear the fence. Second home run of the game for Craig Shanehair. He's got hair like four and the power to match. Pitch to three batters. Fly ball to left field, going back, going back, and over the wall. Kyle McKibben, a two-run blast for Coldwater. The Cavaliers make it 11-3. Third home run of the game for the Cavs. Great work by Craig Shanehair, Kyle McKibben, and Mark Deshart Coons on the top play of the countdown. Speaking of great work, we have to thank the wonderful folks at Layfeld Welding in Coldwater and Greenville for their support of the top five plays throughout the fall, winter, and spring sports seasons. 